Hi, I'm Robbie Bola, joined by Michael Wadsworth. Last year was your first year in Provo. You redshirted. We may finally get to see you out on the field. Uh, you had a very unique path to BYU. Can you tell that story? Uh, it was a journey. Um, I was at Hawaii, went on my mission, decided to transfer to BYU. Um, it was a bit of a sticky situation, but we were able to, to get through it, walked on, um, was blessed to make the, field, uh, to, to make the team and to be able to um, be around the players and blessed to get a shot this year. So it's been good so far. Trying to stay warm. I know Provo's not <laughs> Honolulu. That's right. It's not. I grew up in, in Orem when I was younger, so I'm a bit used to it, but yeah, it's chilly now. On your mission, what led to your decision to want to transfer to BYU? It was really just the atmosphere. Um, I looked back at Hawaii and just the people who I hung out with and the situations which I found myself in. And then being on a mission, obviously a lot of things changed. My family moved back to Utah from Las Vegas. And so I wanted to be around them. I wanted to be a part of my little brother's lives. And so it was a big part of it. How did that conversation then begin with BYU? Because it's not like you could come and visit with Coach Mendenhall. Yeah, actually, it never really did begin. Um, I talked to my dad and my dad wanted to talk to Hawaii and it just we never spoke to BYU and so they kind of heard it through sources that we were thinking about going there but um, we were careful to play by the rules and my dad or I never made any contact to BYU so and whenever this situation happens somebody wanted to transfer on their mission I always ask did BYU initiate the contact with you while you were on your mission no um, once again it was something that I made a choice and I didn't meet Coach Mendenhall or anyone until the first day of school when I was allowed to have contact with them. I met um, Coach Tidwell when I was in Las Vegas, when I was in high school, he recruited me. Um, but other than that, um, it was a choice that I made and a right choice, I believe. I'm grateful for it. First time around, because you mentioned Coach Tidwell was recruiting you, why mm -hmm. did you decide Hawaii was the place you wanted to go initially? Um, Tony Tuyoti, he was my um, high school coach. He played at UH and he went out there to, um, to coach as well. and so. Um, it was either there or Arizona, um, and I chose to go to Hawaii. Um, familiar faces out there, and got to love the atmosphere. Once in a lifetime opportunity, so. BYU was scheduled to head back to the islands December 7th. Right. Now the Mountain West is going to have their championship game that day, and who knows the next time the Warriors and Cougars will play again. I'm sure you were disappointed that you won't get to go back and play in Aloha Stadium again. Yeah, I was very disappointed. It was good to see um, the boys come over here. It was good to see a lot of the old players that I saw and that I played with, and so I'm disappointed that we can't go back, but um, everything happens for a reason, so it'll be all right. While you were there, BYU and Hawaii didn't play your freshman year before your mission, but what what do people in Honolulu think about BYU? Because that used to be a long rivalry, and I'm sure there are still feelings either way about BYU. Yeah, it's a huge rivalry, um, especially on North Shore. There's a lot of members over there, and so you got to love BYU. There's a lot of local kids over there that come to Hawaii or that come to BYU either for school to play football or for a lot of other reasons. Um, and so the schools are very well known, but UH fans don't like BYU. <laughs> They don't like that the Cougars are stealing their Polynesians That's from right. the islands. That's right. They struggle with that part. For you personally, uh, what have you learned? How have you grown in this last year as you redshirted throughout the season and now coming into spring ball? It was good. It was a great humbling experience. It was great to get my legs back from my mission, to be able to be around um, the boys, Preston Hadley um, and Danny Sorensen and Mike Haig. And a lot of those players really made an influence in my life. And it's good to have Coach Howell. Um, great coach and coach Mendenhall to be able to work with them and um, once again it's humbling to be on the scout team rather than being with the fir or the second team or first team practicing so it was a good experience. What do you think your strength is? What's unique about you that you bring to this secondary? Um, I think I see the field, the, I think I see the field really well. Um, able to react to the ball and able to have good instincts. And so it's something that I'm still trying to fine tune um, within the defense, within the scheme, but it's something that I feel I, I bring to the table. And um, effort as well. I'm one that's um, going to run to the ball, one that's going to try 100%. So it's something that I try to do. Independence is also a, a new thing for BYU. I guess your freshman year at UH would have been, was that the 2010 season? Mm -hmm. So that was BYU's last season in the Mountain West. Now as an independent, what do you like about independence, especially as you look at the teams that are going to come to Provo and the places you'll get to travel next year? I'm not too familiar with independence and how it 
pans out for BYU. Um, I look at the schedule and I like what we what we have. Um, a lot of strong people come over here and we'll play. We'll play Texas and um, a number of other schools. Bronco said that, it, or Coach Mendenhall said it's going to be one of the toughest schedules that we've played. And so it's a great opportunity for the players and for the school, the university, and the, the church to be able to um, make a name for ourselves. As a player out on the field, not playing in a conference, I mean, do you really think about that? Does it affect I guess in a game it won't necessarily affect how you play. You're going to play whoever's out there for 60 minutes. But as a player, you know, you're not playing for a conference championship. How does that affect your mentality as you approach a season? Um, it doesn't necessarily affect my mentality. I don't know if it affects either, um, the other boys on the team. But as far as I'm concerned, one game at a time. And if we do our part, we'll be invited to a BCS game. What's your favorite part about your, your BYU experience this past year? Um, the atmosphere. Um, nothing like BYU. Um, I live at home. I live with my family. Able to come, be around the boys. Um, a lot of spirituality um, incor incorporated with the football schemes, and it's something that's very unique and you don't find anywhere else in the world. Okay, thanks, Michael. Good to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too.